because both the military and business are concerned with elements of, of, of winning and with competition. Business thinkers for a long time have tried to apply the principles of military strategy and tactics to the business and management world. And people have tried over the years to try to, to apply the principles of people like Sun Tzu and Musashi and Clausewitz to management and, and competition and, and business thinking with greater or lesser results. I mean, particularly in the case of Musashi, it's a bit of a stretch. But nonetheless, some important insights have also come out of those, those different ways of looking at management thinking. That is, looking at management thinking from a military strategy, military tactics kind of perspective. One of the greatest thinkers in the last half of the 20th century has been Colonel John Boyd. He's probably best known for his OODA loop, O-O-D-A, although his system of thought is very complex, very comprehensive, and has really redefined the way military leaders think about military strategy and tactics slightly. But the OODA loop is what's made him famous, particularly in the business world, and a number of people have tried to apply the OODA loop, O-O-D-A loop, to management, but not with very much success. Now, OODA, O-O-D-A, stands for a process of four steps, and those four steps are observe, orient, decide, and act. Colonel Boyd was a military fighter pilot. A lot of people believe he was the greatest fighter pilot of all time. When he was thinking about what made him good in the air and also what made units in the military work effectively, he realized that they really do four things. They have to observe what's going on in their space, in their area of concern. Once something catches their attention, they need to then orient onto it. You know, like, there's the plane, I need, there's, the, there's the bad guy in the plane, there's my enemy. Then it, you then need to decide what to do, and then you need to act. You actually have to do something. Now, like all, like all the different ways there are to slice a problem, this may seem trite, it may seem obvious. You may say, well, gosh, there's lots of other different ways we could look at decision-making, too. But, and, and that's true. There are thousands of ways you could slice the decision-making process. But this is the way that works. Like all great insights, the beauty of this OODA loop is that it actually works. This is, this is the essence of what made Boyd a great fighter pilot. And this is the way the military, particularly small military units these days, think about fighting warfare. And this OODA loop, this part of Boyd's, process, of Boyd's thinking, has a great deal of applicability to business and to management. The reason that the application of this OODA loop to business and management hasn't been as successful as it could be is because while this is a fairly well-defined process, a process that's been proven in the field many times over, it doesn't map very well into a known existing management process. So you can't really say what this part of the OODA loop, the observed part, maps to in the business world. I mean, what does the business world do when they're observing? What does the business world do when they orient to something? You need to have a corresponding process that this maps to at least roughly in order to take advantage of the insights that the OODA loop gives you. If you look at marketing as a process, the way we look at it, and we call it the customer manufacturing system, the observe and orient elements of Boyd's OODA loop correspond to the data and analysis part of business management. That is, the data gathering and the analysis of all the data that you do on a routine basis in the activities in which you have to understand and predict where your customers are going, understand the market and its segments and where they're going, understand your competitors and what they're doing and what they're going to be doing down the road, understand the channels and where they're going, understand your customers and what their needs are going to be in the future. This data and analysis activity, which is done partly in market research, partly in product management, partly in a bunch of places all over your company, depending how you're, how you're, you're organized. But this has to be done in an organized way in order for you to make coherent decisions. So the observing of what's going on in the external world, the world you need to make a profit in, corresponds to the understand and predict elements of the marketing process and the orientation into the opportunities that exist in the marketplace comes out of the analysis that you do based on the data you gather in that market research type activity. Moving down the OODA loop from orient to decide, both the orientation and the decision elements of the OODA loop are sort of wrapped around your product market strategy decision process. 
You're taking the data and the analysis that comes from the data gathering part of your operation. You're making decisions with that data, with that analysis, about what products to make and what markets to pursue with those products. So the orient and decide are both contained or both partially contained in the, your product market strategy decision process. Finally, the act element, the last part of, OID, of, of Boyd's uh, OODA process, corresponds to the stuff you actually do. That is, you, you develop products and you develop markets. I mean, I mean these are large, time-consuming, expensive activities, but this is the stuff you actually do. And that corresponds, that of course is what you're acting on, that's what you're doing. So you can see that what you need to do for a marketing process as an enterprise, that is understanding what's going on in the world, analyzing it, making decisions about it in terms of product and market strategy, finally making products, developing markets, corresponds reasonably well to Boyd's process of observe, orient, decide, act. So the question is, if you have this sort of correspondence, how can you then improve this process, your process, by understanding Boyd's process better? What the OODA loop, what Boyd's OODA loop allows you to do is to think about your management process, your business processes, from a different perspective. Rather than getting all wrapped around the details of how you're doing various kinds of activities concerned with market research and data gathering and competitive analysis and making decisions around products and markets, you can start to think about it as how well are we observing what's going on in, in the marketplace? How well are we observing what's going on in the world? outside of our little enterprise, our little corporation? How well are we orienting towards the opportunities that are presenting themselves in that world? How crisply are we deciding to capitalize on those opportunities? And how well are we acting on those opportunities? Now one of Boyd's great insights was that better warriors, better fighter pilots, better military units, they move through their OODA loop faster than their competitors. They observe better and faster. They orient more quickly towards an opportunity or the enemy. They decide more quickly and they can act more quickly. That is, they move quickly through this while their opponents move slowly. That's what defines a good military unit or good military fighter from a less good one. And the same thing can be applied to enterprise-wide thinking. The faster and more crisply you can move through this process, the, the OODA loop, or in the business sense, the, uh, the customer manufacturing system, the more you will dominate your marketplace, the faster you will capitalize on the opportunities and beat your competitors. So what is it that actually allows you to move faster through your business process, through your management process? Well, as we discuss in other of these little videos, it's understanding that it's a process and treating it like a process as opposed to a bunch of activities, a collection of activities. And it's using proven process management principles to tweak that process, to improve that process on a continuous basis. And those thoughts are the subjects of other short videos that you can find in this section.